From Aquion to Waterbox Aquariums, we look at them all. These are the best 10 gallon fish tanks that you can buy today. Now, with my personal experience with these tanks, more about me on our About Us page on our website, I've determined a criteria to be able to select the best models in the market. The best 10 gallon tanks should be good in the following aspects. First up, aquarium layout. A lot of people in the hobby prefer rimless aquarium. However, we will also focus more on other styles in this video as there are more affordable options. You can spot a discount fish tank kit from a mile away. And I know you click this video for high quality and style, so I'm here to deliver just that. Next up, filtration. Some of the units in this video are gonna be all in one tanks with a three stage filtration system. You can also purchase a glass aquarium kit with a decent starter filter. I've curated this list with this in mind as it's important to have a good filter setup. The dimensions of this tank are taken into great consideration. Next, lighting. There are inclusive lighting systems in some of the models on this list, but you'd really wanna go for those that can support low light aquarium plants for freshwater tanks or soft corals for saltwater tanks. And lastly, the price. Pricing is always an important factor in any aquarium setup. We're always looking for quality with the price that we pay for. Features like rimless tanks or having a good lighting system are some of the things I expect for premium pricing. If I'm going for more of a budget route, then I'd expect the aquarium to at least be durable. If you're in a hurry, I would suggest getting a serene aquarium. For those of you who want to see the full list, here are the candidates for the best 10 gallon aquarium tanks. All of these vary in price range and can be both for freshwater and saltwater setups. First up, the USA Serene Aquariums. This is an underdog in the rimless tank market, but it stands out as one of the best freshwater kits available. What sets it apart is its low maintenance design, featuring a frosted backlit background, which is unique and quite exceptional in the industry. Comparable setups from ADA would cost as much as the tank itself. The frosted background complements freshwater aquascapes perfectly. This model also includes serene light. While not the pro RGB, this supports the growth of low light plants and boasts numerous features showcased in current USA's video. This rimless aquarium offers great value with a 13 gallon tank, serene light, a frosted background, and decorations. This is an outstanding option compared to Waterbox and Innovative Marine. This is also designed for freshwater aquascaping compared to reef tanks. Current USA was one of my favorite brands that I used to be a partner of, but that was before they got taken over by saltwateraquarium.com. This was one of my favorite tanks, but it may not be available by the time you watch this video. So if that's the case, check out the others on this list. I personally had one of these setups a couple of years back and I loved it. This is a great tank and it's a great package if you can find it. If you can't find it in stores, you might be able to get one for cheap secondhand. It's definitely worth looking for. If you're on the hunt for just a rimless aquarium, the Waterbox 10 Mini is a great tank for those looking for a clear view of a tank at a fraction of the price. Waterbox is doing its best to make itself known by offering an affordable option for freshwater tanks. They're pretty popular for their all-in-one models with aquarium sumps and easy plumbing installation. For the clear model, it's more or less the same dimensions as the standard 10 gallon tank. What gives this a sleek look is its straight edge silicone design, no plastic rims here, and the design's been very well thought of. This aquarium includes a self-leveling mat, making it a very good package. Waterbox also offers cabinets to go with your tank, but that extra purchase can be quite expensive. Serene, on the other hand, offers more to go with your tank like background and decorations, but the beauty of Clear's cheaper tank is that you can make it your own just by getting your own decorations and modifying it how you please. Ultimately, the Clear model was designed with a minimalist feel and simplicity in mind. I actually prefer this compared to other brands found on Amazon. What's more is that the customer support is very responsive, and I feel like that's very important, especially for novice aquarists. All in all, this is a great choice for a rimless aquarium backed by a reliable brand. Though technically it's more expensive than a traditional rim tank, but with the minimalist design, it gives you the opportunity to customize it. The sky is the limit. This is best for a planted tank setup. If you're looking for a saltwater setup, consider the other aquariums we'll feature in this video that are designed for those. We're back with Aquion, and they've got something good to bring to us on this list. Their standard 10 gallon tank is a budget pick. However, Aquion's Aquarium Starter Kit is an excellent value option. This kit eliminates the need for the user to guess what else they need for their tank since a lot is in this package, and they're all pretty good equipment for the price. This package is inclusive of a standard 10 gallon tank, a hood with a standard LED light, Aquion's patented power filter, a heater, a fishnet, thermometer, water conditioner, and a bonus sample fish food. This all-in-one package eliminates separate purchases, saving you a ton of money. Compared to other brands like Marina's, Tetra's, and other generic brands, Aquion's 10-gallon kit offers a trustworthy quality that can stand out from the rest of its competitors. 
Some things that you might want to reconsider are the Equion's power filter, which is a true three-stage filter, and it's got a feature to inform the user when to change the filter cartridge. The hood is alright, but it's not suitable for planted tanks, and the heater's pretty decent. And personally, I've used these heaters for quarantine tanks, and I've never really had any problems with them. Though, my only problem with it is that it's just a preset heater. It's just designed to keep your tank at a 78 degree temperature, which is kind of a bummer, so you gotta know what your setup should be for a freshwater tank. All in all, this is a good starter kit, especially if you want to have everything all in once without having the hassle of thinking or shopping for separate pieces of equipment. Aquion's 10 gallon aquarium has got your back. If you want true value, consider picking up a 10 gallon Aquion standard tank for your pet store when they've got their dollar per gallon sales. If you're going for a nano reef tank, the Waterbox Nano is an excellent 10 gallon aquarium. It's also an all in one fish tank with a built in filtration system, return pump, black background, and a rimless style tank. The design of the Waterbox Nano allows for aquascaping with its cube dimensions. It features also a built-in filtration unit that's large enough to place an auto top-off system and an aquarium heater. I've used this before and this package is suited for soft nano reef setups. Everything here is a step up in quality from the filtration to the lighting. It should help you be set on starting a nano reef tank. Some drawbacks, however, include the return pump, the quality that just doesn't match the high pricing, which I hope the Waterbox can improve soon. Though if you're looking for a better option, this next candidate can definitely solve the problem. Next up is the innovative Marine Fusion Pro 10. Now this brand is the pioneer of the modern all-in-one nano tank in the saltwater tank hobby. Their latest model, the Fusion Mini, comes with premium features such as having a mesh lid and a micro glass cleaner to keep your inhabitants from jumping out of your tank. It also provides an easier way to scrape off algae. This is a step up in terms of features, build quality, and price all in all compared to the water box. I did mention that this tank will resolve the issue of the water pump, as it has their patented MiteJet DC pump. This is probably one of the best DC pumps out there in the market for nano reef tanks. Its adjustability would make it easier for you to be able to keep some corals too. Now the only thing that may be a con to this tank is its price, although to be fair it does boast some premium features. This is the most expensive tank on this list. I'd recommend this as your go-to if you're trying to get the best quality nano reef tank. My personal recommendation is to purchase this if you want more than soft corals. I've gone through a lot of LPS and mixed reef tank setups, and out of all the tanks, the innovative Marine Fusion Pro 10 has shown great success in this aspect. Let's go over to our fellow shrimp tank aficionados. The De Niro Shrimp Aquarium is a tank specifically designed for homing shrimp species. One notable feature is the Ek Filter internal filter, which ensures the safety of your shrimp and is a reliable filter that'll keep your setup clean. It's also a filter that's easy to care for and maintain. Another inclusion is the LED light with a color output of 6500 Kelvin, which is good enough for low light plants. Denaro's tank design is wider than your standard 10 gallon aquarium, allowing space for your shrimp to roam around more freely. And this is gonna challenge you in terms of designing your tank using the depth space of it. The tank is built as a curved corner glass tank, and this may give a pretty unique look when you're viewing from the corners. Flip Aquatics, my affiliate partner, has a fondness for these tanks and recommends this tank to his customers. Shrimp hobbyists will find this tank a simple yet effective one. Although, if you're looking to craft a community tank with shrimp, then I'd recommend the Serene instead due to its higher quality glass tank and option of installing a better filtration system. However, this will be a much more expensive option. Overall, this tank is specifically built for those looking to have a shrimp tank set up and this is the ultimate option if you're going for shrimp. With its design, functionality, great quality filter, and aesthetics, the De Niro Shrimp Aquarium hits all the marks. And last on our list is the Aquian 10 Gallon Aquarium. This tank kit is a staple product of Petco or PetSmart's dollar per gallon sale. The pricing may be appealing, but you might end up spending more in the long run to perfectly craft a suitable system. Aquion's reputation of building quality tanks should assure you that their aquarium should last a long time. One thing to take note of is its long dimensions compared to most all-in-ones. It's got a 20 inch long by 10 inch wide by 12 inch in height. Now this may not be my first pick when it comes to building a quality setup and I would recommend that you go with other candidates on this list. Not to downplay on this model, on the contrary I've built a ton of great 10 gallon setups with this tank for bettas and community fish tanks. This is as standard as you get, and with the reliable branding backing this up, I'd still put this on the list. A common question I get when getting a 10 gallon tank is what kind of fish should one get? Here are some of the preferred species, but these nano fish listed are one of the ideal species for this tank, and shrimp if you're considering a shrimp only tank. Guppy fish, rasporas, danios, white cloud minnows for cold water tanks, small tetras, 
and finally, freshwater pea puffers. Bettafish are stunning species and they're great for this kind of aquarium. Blacat bettas are going to be the best candidate for a 10 gallon community tank. These fish are hardy, active, and competitive in terms of feeding, and ultimately the best kind of betta for larger fish tanks. For nano reef tanks, there may be some limited options here, but these are the best species to get. Firefish gobies, clown goby, and a single azure damsel. Check out the card for the full list of the best fish for 10 gallon tanks. Setting up a 10 gallon tank is quite daunting at first, but with proper guidance, you should be all set. Now let's just say you're starting bare bones with just an aquarium. You're also gonna need the following to complete your setup. Filter, an aquarium heater, and this is especially important for tropical or marine fish species, lighting, decorations, and live plants or corals. Next, let's look at the aquarium filtration for 10 gallon fish tanks. It can be quite overwhelming to be presented with a ton of filter choices in the market, but if you go with a canister filter, the Oase Filto Smart 100 would be my recommendation. This is a smaller version of their Biomaster Thermo and it should suffice for smaller tanks. Power filters are also a great choice. Hagen Aqua Clears would be my recommendation, although displaying this in a rimless aquarium might be a bit of a challenge. Speaking of hang-on filters, we have a video all about them in the card above. If you're going rimless, then my recommendation would be the Oase BioPlus Internal Filter or Filto Smart 100. Both are filtration systems that will get the job done. Next, aquarium heaters for 10 gallon aquariums. For those who are choosing to get an aquarium heater, consider brands like Eheim and Oase. Oase would have a heater that comes with filters. Having a heater controller provides a fail safe and ease of control. An Inkbird would be a good option for controllers since it's got Wi-Fi capability and a mobile app to easily alert you or monitor your tank temperatures. Next, aquarium lighting for 10 gallon aquariums. Lighting can be simple or comprehensive depending on what you're looking for. I'll recommend two models for fresh water or salt water. More options are LED lighting systems. First, the Serene RBG Pro from Current USA is a great option for freshwater tanks as it can grow almost all freshwater plants available in the hobby and comes with a reliable controller and adjustable features. Another great option is the Fluval Plant LED series. For saltwater aquariums, the AI Prime from Aqua Lumination will be your go-to for nano reef tanks. This model can grow any saltwater plant from hardcore SBS corals and many more. They work best with Zoas, a popular novice coral. Next, decorations for 10 gallon aquariums. Now for decorations, a solid driftwood is your ideal piece since you can customize it by attaching different plants. Manzanita driftwood is another great value option for its low tannin levels and affordability. Artificial plants like silk or plastic are also recommended plant decorations. For saltwater tanks, live rocks from your local fish store are great choices. And since these are small tanks, you don't really need much to get started. A five to seven pound rock would suffice and the rest can be filled up with dry rock. Live plants or corals for 10 gallon tanks. The easiest plants to go for for your tank size would be beginner plants. Here are my recommendations. First up, Java Fern, then Anubius Nana, Java Moss, Christmas Moss, and Bucephalandra. These plants feed off the water column. With that being said, these can be attached to driftwood. The Boost plant offers an array of quality live plants at retail price. So there you have it, our seven best picks for 10 gallon tanks. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and click the bell icon to be updated with our latest videos. Also, check out our website for everything and anything aquarium hobby related. Or better yet, check out the next video to your right. Thanks for watching.